Hi there, and welcome to Deploying to a Web Host Server. In the previous section, we tried to understand the relationship between an application and its deployment method a little better, and ways to help you decide on a solution for your project's needs. In this section, we'll be learning how to deploy your Laravel application to a basic web host server using different tools and techniques. We'll start off easy with some of the basic deployment solutions out there, like FTP and SSH, before we gradually get into more complex but versatile solutions like Git and Gulp. This is the first video of Section 3, where you'll learn how to deploy your Laravel application over the File Transfer Protocol, otherwise known as FTP, using FileZilla. Since FileZilla was installed earlier in the course, we'll get you set up by configuring FileZilla to point at the correct host and account. We'll then deploy your Laravel application and at the end, test it to make sure it worked. Before we do anything, we need to create a new Laravel project if you do not already have one. Open up Terminal and type in Laravel new, give it an app name like Laravel-FTP. First, log in to your web hosting account. We'll need to collect the appropriate information to point FileZilla to while deploying our application. You'll need your website provider's host name or IP address, username, and password. Most of this information can usually be found on either the left or the right sidebars of our cPanel, or Management Center. Next, open up FileZilla and click on the Site Manager icon. Create a new site and give it a name like Laravel-FTP, Enter your host name. Change encryption to only use plain FTP. Feel free to use SFTP if your server is set up for it. Change logon type to normal and enter your username and password. Then finally click connect. So let's get familiar with the UI real quick. Right below the header icons is basically a status or log section. This is going to tell us exactly what FileZilla is doing and whether it was successful or not. The main left column is going to be our local computer's file system. The main right column is going to be our remote server's file system. This is why I like FileZilla and why I think it's great for beginners. It takes something like deploying a website and wraps it in an interface that is somewhat familiar to anyone who has used a computer before. Finally, at the bottom of the UI, there's going to be your queue. And it's going to show things like what files are going to be uploaded, what files are currently being transferred, and then what files are currently waiting to be transferred. Finally, we should be ready to deploy our Laravel application. First, using the left column, navigate to the local Laravel application root folder. On the right side, you want to navigate to your public folder. This may be different depending on what hosting provider you're using. In my case, we're already where we need to be. Select the local Laravel project you want to upload. You can then either right-click and select Upload, or you can drag and drop them into the appropriate directory you would like to deploy them to. Finally, we're ready to test our site. Go to your proper URL. For example, mine looks like jamesd.me slash laravel-deployment slash laravel-ftp slash public. Make sure you include public because it won't run from the root of your application folder. If you see Laravel's default splash page, then that's great. You just deployed a Laravel application using FTP and FileZilla. 